Wow, it's a lot of money, yeah? I earn in three weeks $24,798. We are, we are rich. Very we are rich. rich. <laughs> Totoo ba talaga na pwedeng aabot ka sa six digits in peso seso ses ang pwede mong kitain sa pag-deals o kaya sa in-stream ads kapag accepted ka or eligible ka for monetization? Hmm. And today morning I wake up and the miracle is we, we wake up on the morning and we feel cheated by Facebook. Everything gone. Maybe incorrect due to an um, in tools display. But I have the work still in Poland because you know the earnings from YouTube or Facebook in se one second can finish yes. and no money. Sobrang nakakalungkot naman kapag ganyan. So sayang. Kaya mukhang it's a prank. Kaya panoorin natin kung paano nangyari na from 24K to 700 plus na lang pala ang nakita nila. And we are in my page, Facebook page, Michal Dudkowski. I opened this page when? Four months ago. Yeah? And I really start blogging for you guys when I've been in Manila uh, three weeks maybe four weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Facebook give us probability to earn money using ads on Reels. Licensed music. Yes, and we use, we don't use our voice, we use the licensed music because Facebook tell us it's very, very big money. Yeah. And we make this, I make this three weeks. Every day you see a lot of Reels. The, from the Manila, from the City Hall, from the Negros, uh, from our life, you see, wow, it's a lot of money, yeah? In real. And every day we earn, you know, like more what? than $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday, before I go sleep, I make screenshot of uh, my salary in uh, in Facebook, I earned in three weeks twenty four thousand dollars seven hundred ninety eight. You show it. And and I think, oh my God, it's miracle! It's <laughs> we are we are rich. Very we are rich. I try it on my reels in my page too, and then after that, when I walk, no, you, I... your your record in one reels. Facebook tell uh, one thousand dollars. No, three thousand. Really? Yes, three thousand dollars in one reel, seven seconds. How much you earn in your in your page? One thousand. Nine thousand. Nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars. And today morning I wake up and I look at the journaling. <laughs> the miracle is good. <laughs> we we wake up on the morning and we feel cheated by Facebook. In my opinion, in one it's the one of the biggest scam in the world. Yeah. I can tell you guys, Facebook tell, earning display error. Ads on air earning display on July 6th to August 1, maybe incorrect due to an in -sync tools display error. After I wake up today morning, I have 735. Oh. It's still big, of course. Thank you, Lord. It's still big. <laughs> but if I know, this i don't use the licensed music yeah. i use my voice because i i know you i think maybe some part of you guys want to hear us don't some famous music and this is the the reason why i feel the feel cheated by facebook and it's for me the scam we earn much more than when we use our voice yeah. and yeah. our music than licensed music Yes, yes. Licensed music is very, you know. It's, if you think that because we have we have two point three million followers, but followers doesn't matter as long as I, if you don't make the blog every day, you will not earn. Yes, yes. You have only followers, but you are not earning if you don't make 
something in your page. It, you know, it's I, good. I, it's good. I have the work still in Poland because you know the earnings from YouTube or Facebook in se one second can finish yes. and no money. That's why I'm trying. And what this. happened after this? No money, no honey. Jelly go. Sa totoo lang, napakaswerte pa rin nilang pamilyang ito dahil sa short time lang na pagbablog na nag-start sila mag-vlog, ang daming engagements tapos kumikita pa talaga sila. Pero bakit nga ba naging ganyan uh, from 24k thousand or yes, 24k thousand tapos naging 735 yung kinita nila? Number one jan is yung copyright music. Kasi alam nyo, kahit na sinasabi nila na copyright, safe to use, hindi pa rin guaranteed na magiging safe pa rin yan. Kasi um, yung utak ng nag-publish niyan, pwede magbago. Uh, ngayon, pwede sabihin niya na pwede, tapos after ilang months, hindi na pala pwede. Kasi may contract yan, baka mag expire yung contract, tapos hindi na siya magiging free, magiging paid na siya. Kaya kung minsan yung mga gumagamit ng akala nila free license music, biglang nagkakaroon ng copyright, biglang nava-violate. Kaya mag-ingat-ingat kasi paggamit ng license kasi nagbabago pa rin yung rules. Number two, mas maganda talaga na mag-voiceover, kagaya ng ginagawa ko. Kaya ngayon, uh, wala nang halos videos lately na nakikita nyo na gumagamit ako ng, ng background music, no? Puro voice ko na lang. Tsaka voice over kapag nagbablog ako na nagpo-food trip, nagta-travel kasi para hindi ma-copyright, di ba? Para makaiwas sa violation. Number three, yung error sa pag-commute ng earnings. Kasi nangyayari din talaga yan, uh, mapa-digital o kaya yung manual na pag-compute ng pera. ba? Diba? Kasi minsan talaga may mga hindi nakikita yung mga accountants, kaya kinokorek nila and nakakagulat lang kasi from uh, 10,000, tens of thousands, tapos naging hundreds yung kinita nila. And number four, syempre, is yung adjustments ng, ng policies ni Facebook. Uh, kung maaalala nyo, di ba, nabanggit ko dun sa vlog ko, noong June 13, nung simula nung nag-update sila ng earnings, biglang bumaba talaga yung earnings. Kaya pag, parang kapag 1 million views, uh, dapat thousands na yung worth ng kita mo, no? Pero ngayon, hindi. Hundreds na lang. Pwedeng 90, pwedeng 110, pero ang average is $100 sa 1 million views. Tapos, syempre, ang number 5 siguro, kung bakit... Um, ganon, bumagsak yung kanilang earnings is because hindi siguro sila aware yung mga policies. Kaya importante talaga na magbasa sa mga policies, sa mga community guidelines para hindi kayo ma-etsya pwera in any case na mag-update bigla si Facebook. Ito na ang mga lessons. Number one, huwag kasing gawing full-time job ang pag reels o kaya pagiging content creator. Kasi nga, ang daming factors. Such as yung mga policy pag ganun-ganon. Um, masasapol ka talaga kapag Uh, yung akala mong earnings na kukuhunin mo tapos biglang nagkaroon ng policy update na ko mapapasapol ka talaga katulad ng nangyari sa mga maraming content creators noong June 13 na yung earnings biglang nagganon bumaba talaga <laughs> number two maghanap talaga ng ng permanent job kasi itong permanent job na to it will guarantee you a lifetime or long term na source of income nyo hindi katulad sa pag reels na pwedeng pag ganon isang Uh, pwedeng isang iglap, mawawala, mag, pwedeng maglaho ang lahat. Kaya ang permanent job is permanent job, kaya nga permanent. May long-term uh, plan yan. Umiwas kayo sa mindset na kunwari, ay, ayoko pa rin mag-stop na ano, mag-reels. Mag-reels pa rin ako. It's because nasanay na ako eh. It's my passion. Pero at the back of your mind, umaasa ka pa rin at naniniwala pa rin na magiging milyonaryo ka sa pag-reels. Iwasan nyo ganung mindset. It's because we should face the reality. Be practical. Kung alam mong medyo uh, nababaon ka na sa utang, tapos nakakalimutan mo nang alagaan yung pamilya mo, or na nakakalimutan mo na yung sarili mo, it's about time na you change your routine. Be productive. Tapos, um, kailangan mo talaga na maghanap ng alternative way para magkaroon ng job talaga, income, o kaya mag-business na lang. Lastly, Umiwas na talaga kayo sa pagfa-follow tapos umaasa kayo na babalikan kayo. Sinasayang niyo lang talaga ang mga 
efforts nyo. You're just wasting your time. Instead of creating content, naghahanap kayo ng nagpo-follow, tapos ina-expect na babalikan kayo. Marami akong nare-receive na ganyan sa inbox, comment section. Sabi ko, no need. Hindi yan effective. Mas maganda na mag-create kayo ng content kaysa nagsasayang kayo ng oras. Kasi, sige, after three weeks, wala na silang pakialam sa'yo. Sayang lang. Mas maganda kapag yung kusa talagang uh, pumunta sa'yo dahil nagustuhan yung content. Hindi dahil sa nakikipag follow na yan. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito kahit na konti lang. Mm. Okay, so this is a reminder na always diversify your productivity such as maghanap na talaga kayo ng talagang bagong pagkakakitaan. Okay, so um, this is real talk. I'm sorry kung may natamaan because this is the reality. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you. Sana makarelate kayo and always think positive.